Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell we're in a different setup today so we're actually in my bedroom so I'm sorry if the lighting isn't perfect because I'm sat in front of a massive window at the minute so it might be a little bit too overexposed. Um, but for today's video I thought I would film a little bit of a vlog. I have wanted to vlog on my channel for so long but I just feel like it's so different to what I would normally film and it and it's kind of like taking me quite a bit of confidence to actually film something which isn't just a sit down video talking about makeup. Um, but we have got something really exciting going on at the minute. So we have just bought a barn that needs converting. Um, me and my boyfriend have, and we're going to be making it into a family home. So we really wanted to film the process anyway. And then I thought, you know what, we'll just, we'll film it and then I'll put it on my YouTube channel and then for those of you that are interested you can follow along with us and see the progress and things like that and it also gives us a little bit of like a diary um, as to how things happened and how things changed. So at the moment the barn is basically as it has been sat for the last however many years so it's absolutely not livable at all at the minute but the building itself is just absolutely gorgeous so today we thought we would take you on a little bit of a tour of what it looks like now so that you can see what it looks like before we start any work on it at all um, so my boyfriend is doing all the work himself so um, hopefully when things start kicking off and we get everything in place to start doing the work um, it will change quite quickly. So today's kind of our last opportunity to really show you around and let you see it before it starts being pulled to pieces. So it's really exciting and I hope you enjoy today's video because I've been looking forward to documenting this and I think he is too. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy seeing the barn for the very first time and I'm just gonna jump straight to it because there's not really much else I can say other than thank you for watching and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So I've just pulled up outside the back of the barn. So this is in our parking space and you can see we've got this little outbuilding here. And then, um, so our barn is actually attached to a couple of other people's barns as well. Um, and then here you can see where we've gone through the wall so there'll actually be a gate here so that we can use this is the main parking space and then get in and out of the house this way you can probably see it a bit clearer now i'm out the car but yeah this is where we've already broken through the wall and then this will be our courtyard and garden this part of the building is if i go a little bit closer you'll be able to see got these two massive doors and then I don't know if you can see this little door here so that'll be the front door so we'll have a little bit of a porch and then the rest of the house will start if that makes sense but if you look up look at it at the minute it's mad so this gap that you see here will be built up with wood cladding so it'll actually be part of the house so you won't be able to walk straight through into the courtyard like you can now um, but you can see there it's just such a pretty entrance way, so, but we do need the space. So that's what we're going to be doing with that part. Um, so this will be, end up being some sort of entrance way, hallway, and then there will be a door on this wall which will go into the living room. So I'll take you into there first. So this is what it looks like on the outside. So if we go in. duck down. So this room that we're stood in right now is going to be the living room and from the front door where I said there was going to be the, that entrance way there's going to be a door here which will come straight into the living room um, and this is what it looks like at the minute so it's basically just like an old stable and this hay has been brushed down by Smurf from upstairs because upstairs is a hay store um, so we've just got to clear it out so he's started clearing that out already and then these two things this one here and then this one in the corner, these will be staying, so they'll be part of the living room as well. But yeah, that's the the ceiling as well, so the floor from upstairs is completely fallen through at the minute. But it's just so gorgeous, and I just love this room. So these feeding troughs or water troughs, whatever they were, um, will actually be staying and be made into storage. But they're so pretty. Look at this one. So yeah, I guess I will show you the room from up here as well. 
So that's what it looks like. And then above here, so upstairs is the main bedroom. So I'll go up the ladder and show you that now. So this will be our bedroom. So as you can see, there's the hole right in the corner where he's pushed the straw onto the floor downstairs, but this was a hay store. So this will be our bedroom. But as you can see, there's still quite a lot to do to it. <laughs> I think it was an understatement. And then yeah, oh, it's just crazy. I absolutely love this beam that goes across and I don't know, I just love this room. I think it's one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna stand in this corner so you can get a better view of the room, but I've just walked in through this door. Um, but obviously when the property's been done, there'll be another doorway here, which leads from the living room into the hallway. And then this office thing that's been built at the minute, that'll be gone and there'll be stairs leading to two bedrooms upstairs. And then this water pump has got to stay. So we'll be moving that to this wall here. And then this thing, which I can't remember what it is, but Smurf would be able to tell you, that's going, but we're obviously gonna keep bits of it in, in the barn because we wanna try and keep as much of the history in here as we can. But if you look up, look how beautiful the ceiling is. It's so beautiful. And then right now I'm actually stood in the downstairs toilet so there'll also be a downstairs toilet in this room as well oh i love it look at this water pump isn't it just so gorgeous and then that's what it looks like in here at the minute it's almost just like a little office or workshop or something like that but yeah that'll be going and there will be stairs stairs put in instead and then this will be and then this will be the corner with the downstairs bathroom and like I said the water pump will be moved to here so for the kitchen you can see we've got these big massive doors which will be staying but they'll be changed to something that's glass so that it's a bit lighter in here because I'll stand in this corner so you can see so there's the doors there. So they'll just be, they'll be very similar to what's there already, but they'll be changed to glass paneling so that it lets a lot more light in. And then this area downstairs will be the kitchen. So we'll have a set of stairs going up here, going up to another bedroom. And then this, this will be a window. And then we have another one on the upstairs, but that will actually be blocked off. So you won't be able to see that once the bedroom's in. And I just love looking at the roof because it's just so pretty, but you have to try and imagine it with a second flooring because obviously at the minute it looks so big and like the ceilings are going to be so high, but um, you can imagine that the, the floor will probably come to about here somewhere. So you have to try and imagine it a little bit more cozy than what it looks like at the minute. But yeah, this whole room downstairs will be the kitchen. And I'll, I'll move over here so you can see the other end. So this will probably be the main part of the kitchen. The stairs will be here and then there'll probably be a dining area in the area that I'm stood at the minute. I just absolutely love the doors in this room. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And I just, I mean, you can just imagine, can't you? Like in the summer when it's really hot and you're eating outside, you can have the doors open and your kitchen's sort of half outside. I don't know. I just, I absolutely love them. They are so beautiful. And I can't wait to see it when it's done. So as you walk past the kitchen area, you get to these three sort of pigsties that um, I'll have showed you right at the beginning when I walked through this little bit of the wall, which we've broken down already, ready for the gate. So this will be a sort of garden room utility area. Um, but at the minute, they're these old, <laughs> gorgeous pigsties. So I'll show you on the inside what they look like. So this is the inside. So they're quite low at the minute, but they've still got like the old water or feeding troughs. I'm not 100% sure which these would have been used for. It's got water in it at the minute. Um, but yeah, look how gorgeous. And then you can see that like, it doesn't quite reach over. So you can see into the, the next one. But yeah, this will be, so I think on the plans, it's down as a garden room, but whether we make it into something else, 
sort of later on down the line i'm not sure but i'll show you in the other two as well so this is in the third one so you can see it's pretty much the same smurf's got some of his bits in here already ready to go i just love looking at like how gorgeous it is just as it is at the moment it's gonna be amazing so this is the last one and you can see they're all pretty much the same they're all very similar they must have just been used for animals of some sort we keep saying pigsties but i don't actually know if they are pigsties or not but yeah this is what it looks like look how cute that is Excuse the fact you can see my work hive is in the back of the car because this is obviously my office for work <laughs> so all my stuff's in the back and it just looks a complete mess um but i hope you kind of got the gist of the layout of the barn so obviously you can probably see that we're attached to two of the barns so we're the end barn and yeah it's just so exciting it's hard to explain like well it's hard for me to explain how everything's gonna be at the end because obviously for smurf he's got the brain for it you know it's obviously what he does for a living so he knows kind of where everything's going and everything but for me I kind of think like god it's just it's exciting imagining what it's going to look like when it's done but I'll try to make sure to post regular updates on where we're up to with it because i think well at least we're hoping that this week some work will be started and then once we've got a few other bits in place then we'll be able to do the rest of the work so i'm hoping to film regular updates especially because i'll be going on maternity leave soon so i'll hopefully have a little bit more time to get here and show you what the lads are doing and all that sort of thing and sort of watching it progress um, but i hope you enjoyed seeing today's um the before i guess this really is the before of uh before the work start so i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah i'm so excited i'm so excited to start it it just every time we come here i'm just like oh my god <laughs> it just seems like so much work um Smurf will smash it, obviously. So I'm hoping the next thing we can show you is either where he's dug the floor up, put the floors in, or maybe the roof, um, because that's what Smurfs told me is coming next. So I'm hoping that in the next video, that's what you'll see, a little bit of an update on it. Um, so as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are looking forward to seeing more updates from us with the barn, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.